Hey, it's Tony Gates here visiting with uh, two of my friends, and I, I'm proud to say that I can call them that. Mary Kay Hood Hood from the Kids Food Basket, and behind me is Dr. Stephen Bloom from Mary Free Bed. And uh, Mary Kay has been a guest on our show on both LAV and WGRW a number of times. She started Kids Food Basket when? 2001. 2001. And what is Kids Food Basket? We feed kids a sack supper, coordinate with the Grand Rapids Public Schools, and some schools in Wyoming and Kelloggsville. Very good. And the idea is that they found a number of years ago in 2001 kids, young kids, going through dumpsters because they didn't have enough food. And in this day and age, it's hard to fathom in this country, but Mary Kay has stepped up. And today, they're feeding how many? We're feeding, in the fall, we'll be feeding 2,500 plus. And we utilize a thousand, or excuse me, a hundred volunteers a day for our work. That's tremendous. And that's yeah. a great story. But it continues to grow because there's 17 schools on the waiting list for the Kids Food Basket, which is an average of about 100 kids a school. So you do the math. Mary Kay was in our studio not that long ago because she was recognized by the governor of the state of Michigan for, which was kind of funny, was it a Lifetime Achievement Award? Yeah. Yeah. And here I you said, are. I said I didn't know that I was that old. I know, so she's with a group of like 80 year olds, which is okay, but uh, it was a nice recognition from the state for the kids' food basket, and you were also recognized for another award, what was that? For the presidency. No, 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 at the, at the Michigan State, no, I know you Oh, I'm to, sorry, I'm jumping ahead At the state again. level, was that a it's, volunteer? Yes, it's the kids' food basket volunteer management award. We were the premier, the best volunteer management program. And you won that one? We won that one. So we had him back in the studio, and then lo and behold, we get a notice that guess what? Mary Kay Hood Hood, before anybody else we were in the know, was nominated out of 6,000 people that were nominated, and uh, somebody that she works with nominated her in the organization for a presidential award. It got whittled down to 600. Once it was down to 600, the president himself came in with a committee and went through every entry after a serious FBI background check, right? No skeleton right. in the closet. I don't signed wanna, off. Don't want to get embarrassed. but was one of the nominees and then lo and behold won. You won! Woo! So they flew her to the White House. The president himself uh, handed her a medal, whispered something in your ear. What do you yes, say? Yes, thank you for all you yeah. say? I wish you would have said it. I would have said I thank you for all the hard work you do. And she got a medal. You got what? Three medals, right? That's right. That's right. That. What, an award. what an honor. All right. So you what got a medal, a big medal for display. Like well, it's like it's a little ribbon thing with a medal on And then on you got it. a lapel pin? Yeah, and a small medal to wear. Now, Steve Bloom is with us because they started a band some time ago with a very interesting uh, cast of characters. And they tour all my friends. You've got uh, people from all walks of life. Doctor, banker, it goes on and on. And the name of the band is Midlife Crisis, which was kind of a, hey, we're going to get together, we're going to jam, maybe we'll play once a month. And it's been how many years? Nine? Nine years now. Nine years, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Steve, what do you play? I'm the drummer. Yeah, they don't let the me drummer. Sing. I only, only play the drums. And he's <laughs> one of the only drummers I know that has uh, ever you know, made a dollar off of being a drummer. But Midlife Crisis has done so many things in the community, so many things with us and, and LAV, and they do a number of charitable events. And you guys have stepped up, and you're going to do what? We're going to do an event for Kids Food Basket uh, this upcoming week on September 9th, uh, which is going to be actually honoring Mary Kay and her presidential award. It's going to be uh, down at the Amway Hotel in the uh, uh, Imperial, Ball Ball Imperial Ballroom. And this is going to be a fun, casual event that's going to have lots of fun food, drinks. The band's going to be rocking. I heard we're going to have uh, presidential uh, impersonators there so you can have your picture taken uh, with different people, and it's just going to be a fun party. It's 20 bucks. It's September 9th. You can find out how you can join us, and the money goes to the foundation, right? It goes to the, the endowment for kids who are basketball. How cool is that? We're going to have a party. We're going to celebrate. We're going to have fun. We're going to see her medal on display. We're going to listen to the sounds of Midlife Crisis, who recently opened for ZZ Top and 15,000 people. And it's going to be a celebration of all the volunteers and the goodwill of Kids it Food is. Basket. So number one, I urge you to go to kidsfoodbasket.org and find out more about the organization and maybe you can help whether it's helping stuff the bags or throwing a couple of dollars towards you know buying juice boxes or whatever it is get your kids involved in volunteering and then spend 20 bucks and join us September 9th at the Imperial Ballroom at the Grand uh, at the, uh, the Amway Grand Hotel yes. and the money goes to a good cause so you know what we're going to put this on our Facebook page on our website part of our Citadel Cares package and I'm Tony Gates along with Dr. Steve Bloom and Mary Kay Hood Hood and we hope to see you there. Thank you. Thanks.